I want to show you just one slide giving a summary of the, um, the instructions if you want to install PPP yourself on your laptop. Um, we, we offer a Vagrant support. For those who don't know Vagrant, Vagrant is a nice way to easily uh, create VMs. So it's very handy for, uh, for just tests. I mean, I, I guess it can be used for production as well, but uh, it, it's really easy to create VMs from scratch. Um, and in that case, in VPP, in the sources, there is a Vagrant file. So if you download the sources with git clone, these instructions, you go to the Vagrant directory and then you just do Vagrant up. It's going to install a VM. Uh, you need VirtualBox. So it's going to create a VirtualBox uh, VM. It's going to download uh, Ubuntu by default, but you can also configure uh, to make it run with CentOS. Um, and it's going to download VPP, uh, build VPP, and you can execute VPP in this VM. So here it's really a summary of the steps. It's no kidding. Uh, normally, if you do that, it works. Uh, some people have issues, as usual, but most of the time, if you just do that, it works. You can find more details on the wiki page, uh, wiki.fd.io, uh, VPP, and on the VPP page, you have a link to the full tutorial where, I mean, you will find explanation in case of, you, of certain known bugs that you may encounter. So I'm going to leave this slide here. Uh, if you have any questions, you are welcome to ask them. And what I propose right now is that we keep going with questions, if you have some. Uh, we are not going to set up a panel like before, but the, the speakers are still in the room. Uh, like ITF, like if someone has a question, raise your hand and we give you a mic and the, the guy that wants to answer, answers and so on. In VPP, there is a Vyost backend, which is a different Vyost backend from, uh, from VPDK. So maybe Pierre, can, can or it will be Damien. Can, can you give some backgrounds of why is it here today and what will be the future of this VHost? We have the two VHost user drivers in VPP today. We have the original one, which was written much much before the DPDK had the VHost users. So that that one is a kind of legacy driver in VPP, and we have now DPDK driver. So basically, you can switch between them. Uh, I mean, view is if the DPDK driver is good, is is good, uh, we would like to retire the old one. S but uh, my, my last uh, testing experience was that the 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 DPDK driver was uh, a bit slower. So I don't know if anything changed in the recently. I didn't test that for a long time. So yeah. So definitely the intention is to to move to DPDK driver, but we need to be on the same speed like with the old one. You have a test project in DPDK, and uh, maybe Thomas, if you, I don't know if you know, it's which is mostly driven by Intel, and which is cause a lot of, let's say, unit testing for perf for performance and scenarios. I don't have all the the, the topics in mind, but I think it's there's something for the host. Well, uh, welcome Intel folks to contribute to FDIO then. <coughs> Sis it. And we really have you know welcome everybody with your know, wide open arms. But um, uh, on a serious note. I think the optimization of the vhost uh, is is big and important because we expect many more vhost interfaces, uh, i.e. VMs connecting to to the virtual switch like VPP, than physical interfaces. So uh, and memory copy being an expensive, a very expensive operation. So the optimization of this driver is is I think should be priority for the community. Thanks. <laughs>